Has self-directed care become too much of a hassle for you? Listen, stick around to the end because I got a lot of solutions for that problem. How's everybody doing today? My name is Kion Church. I'm the big-hearted caregiver. What do I do? I help adult children with senior parents to become paid caregivers through our personal assistance service agency called Reliable Aid Inc. Now listen, a lot of people talk about self-directed care. See, first of all, let me back it up. A lot of our parents are in Medicaid and they're in the uh, long-term health care program. So when they realize that they're eligible for a paid aid, what the insurance company likes to do is they like to, uh, I guess, maybe, for better lack of a word, force it down your throat, you know? So what they want you to do is <clears throat> they want you to pick out your aid. That's only if you're eligible. They want you to pick out your aid. They want you to uh, 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 hire a person. They want you to keep track of their hours. They want you to report back to them. I mean, I don't know about you, but like, you know, my father's 78 years old. He needs a lot of help. No way in the world he could possibly do self-directed care because it's too much on them. You know what I mean? And I'm going to tell you like this. It's really like they're setting you up for failure because they're asking you they're asking you to do too much. They're making you the head of the business, which is great and awesome because you're the only person that really matters. But I'm sure if you need help with your activities of daily living, you know, like uh, getting up in the morning, getting dressed, uh, doing your meal prep, uh, 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 you know, light housekeeping, you know, maybe even help with eating. I'm sure you don't have time to clock in a, an attendance hours. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then make sure they came to work on time. Make sure they clocked in, clocked out. It's kind of like, mm, I don't know. And what I personally think is, I think the insurance company is forcing this self-directed care on people because they really want to just wash their hands of the whole situation. But look, if you're here with me today, I'm going to solve this problem for you because I got a, uh, I got a solution, you know. Uh, we call it Reliable Aid Inc. Look, all the caregivers are two-part TB tested physicals, drug screen, SBI background check, the whole nine. Why would you as the client want to put an extra stress on yourself to uh, make sure a, a person's in your house, they doing the right thing? You got too much on you. You know what I mean? And if you anything like the people that I take care of, all you want to do is lay back, relax, and enjoy your life. You know what I mean? So listen, if you're with the wrong company, they definitely got you on the wrong track. Because if they're talking self-directed care, that's 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 crazy. That's that's all the way out the business, you know? Shirley Love in the building. How you doing today? Look, I want to give a shout out to all the big-hearted caregivers. You know, everybody that uh, that understands I got a job to do. You know, I go in here and I, and, I, and I look out for these people, you know, every day as much as I can. You know, I'm kind of like uh, secretly stacking a deck, I'm going to say, because... What I want to do is I want to be as nice to as many people as possible so I can get that uh that boomerang that that what I, what you want to call it that uh that outside boomerang effect and they they just you know take care of me in the afterlife I don't know but if that's what you're looking for then you know reliable aid ink may be a source for you but I'm gonna tell you the relative that you're currently taking care of may be eligible for a paid caregiver under the Delaware state under the state of delaware long-term health care plan now i know it sounds crazy because we're so used to hearing about our loved ones getting sentenced to a life at a cold stop nursing home only to be taken care of by a stranger because the family members didn't have the time money or the resources that it took to be able to take care of people you know so everybody needs to make a living and providing care can be very time consuming making a decent pairing decent paying job just out of reach for most voluntary caregivers like me and you so what if i told you what if I told you that it was possible for you to get paid for doing the work that you're already doing right now in the house with your mom or dad? Mm, beautiful. You know what I mean? You're already doing the work. Let's put the paycheck in your pocket. You know, what do we do and how are we going to help you with that? Good question. And I'm glad you asked. I'm glad you're paying attention today. You know what I mean? Well, Reliable Aid Inc. is a personal assistance service agency that compensates family members who have had to leave their personal lives in order to move back home and take care of their Asian parents or loved ones. You know, and yes, in many cases, we help them get paid, too, at the same time. So what we offer is a better solution for uh, self-directed care. You know, nobody wants to have to take care of their self. Nobody wants to have to direct the care to take care of themselves once you get to a certain age, you know, once you get to a certain age, you want everything to be tranquilo, you know, cool. You want to relax. If you want to relax, you know, and you want a, a good person to take care of you, if that person's in your family or, or if they're not in your family, I hire somebody, bring them to your house, 
Make sure they got all their shots. Make sure they uh, they got a physical so they don't come into your house and hurt themselves. Make sure uh, they got their SBI background check done because we don't want no criminals in your place, you know? Uh, we're going to do everything for you. Self-directed, we're going to throw that out the window. Mr. Grant, how you doing today? Listen, if you're on here with me right now in a live broadcast, hashtag live in the comments. Hashtag live. Hashtag live if you're watching it now. Hashtag rebroadcast if you're watching it later. All right? So, look, make sure you're checking out the uh, the podcast, anchor.fm forward slash the big hearted caregiver. You know that's me. All right? I'm the big hearted caregiver. And everybody here, y'all big hearted caregivers too. I love y'all for that. All right? Check us out on YouTube. It's easy to find over there. Reliable aid, ain't, you know? But the number one thing I'm going to need you to do. Don't let anybody shame or blame you into thinking that taking care of your parents is a bad thing. Look, we doing this right here to get our blessings, all right? I love you. Continue on doing what you're doing. You know, drop them comments on me. Let me know. Hashtag your city. Hashtag your state. Looking clean, Mr. Church. Hashtag live. I like that, man. David G in the building. You know what I mean? That's my boy from the other side of town. He way on the other side of the coast, you know? We got big-hearted caregivers all over. This message is going out all through the United States, we got friends in UK, we got friends in other parts of Europe, South America, Africa, we all over the building. Big hearted caregivers everywhere. I love you. Talk to you tomorrow. Thanks.